Good day everyone, this is Teacher Nori. In this video, we are going to talk about noting details, sequencing events, and the speaker. First, we need to talk about details. Details are information about the story, book, article, or any text that we read. These include the characters, when and where the events happened or the setting of the story, and the different events that occurred. We need to take note of these details to help us in recalling what we have read and be able to retell it to others properly. Let us now try to see the details of the story Cinderella. The setting for Cinderella is Once Upon a Time in the Faraway Kingdom. The characters are Cinderella, her stepmother, her stepsisters, and the prince. The different events in the story, in no particular order, are Cinderella left her slipper as she escaped from the prince. Cinderella received maltreatment from her stepmom and stepsisters. Cinderella received help to be able to attend the party at the castle. Cinderella's family received an invitation to attend a party for the prince at the castle. And the prince found Cinderella and took her back to the castle. Have you noticed that the events in the story Cinderella doesn't make any sense? It's because to be able to retell or share any information about what we have read, listened to, or watched, we must remember the order in which the events occurred. Properly sequencing events will make the story understandable and help us in predicting what might happen next. If we go back to the story Cinderella and the events given there, we can properly arrange it to make the story understandable. So if we're going to sequence the events given in the story or given in the summary, the first event that would have occurred would be that Cinderella received maltreatment from her stepmom and stepsisters. Then, the family received an invitation to attend a party for the prince at the castle. Since the stepmom and the stepsisters doesn't want Cinderella to go to the party, Cinderella received help to be able to attend the party at the castle. But, just as the clock struck 12, Cinderella left her slipper as she escaped from the prince, giving the chance for the prince to look for Cinderella. Since the prince found Cinderella, he took her back to the castle. Whenever you read a text of any form, you might always find yourself as either a part of the story, as one of the characters, or as an observer. The speaker is the one that tells the events of the story. In stories, the speaker is the narrator. It can be in first person, which means that you are one of the characters, or you are seeing the story in the point of view of one of the characters, or as a third person, a person who is not included in the story, which means that you are looking at it as an observer. For example, in the story Cinderella, the speaker is the narrator. It is not a character of the story, but an observer of the story. And that is the end of our video. Thank you for watching. Until next time!